Hi everybody, I want to say the date. Tuesday 30th of November, it's Giving Tuesday, and I would love for you to join Marika and Karen with the Car Force Association and try to raise 300,000 Rand for these beautiful animals. Hello everyone and welcome to Coffee with Car Talks, hosted by Marika and I. Hey Marika. Hi Karen. Hello everyone. Folks, our stunning 2022 calendar, as you know, is out of sale, um, which is 140 RAM, which includes postage this year. So please support this annual fundraiser of ours. As Christmas is, yes, around the corner next month, and we'll make perfect gifts for family and even corporate gifts while supporting a very worthy cause. All the outlets stocking our calendars, some of them have actually sold out, so you better rush out, um, are on our Facebook page, so please do support them as they are supporting us. Folks, working equines are not unique to South Africa. Rebecca's just going to bring up a slide for me. And in this photograph, you can see the one um, on the right is a donkey plowing on the West Bank. As drought animals, healthy donkeys and mules contribute to both agricultural production and ecological management in rural communities, offering an alternative to mechanized energy where vehicles are expensive or unsuited for the terrain. In the photograph on your um, left, in this photo, when bore holes dry up, donkeys enable women owners to travel longer distances to collect water and help their families to survive. Folks, an estimated 500 million people in the world's most vulnerable communities rely on working equines as a lifeline to support their livelihoods, as our parties do. And at last week's COP26, the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, an international charity spoke on their behalf. Ian Corsi, Director of Advocacy and Campaigns at the Donkey, Donkey Sanctuary, said this. Firstly, they help create the sustainable livelihoods desired. Secondly, donkeys are as vulnerable to climate change as anyone else in communities they support, so must be included in disaster planning. And thirdly, donkeys and mules are key to emergency responses and recovery plans because they can obviously reach terrains where, where, some, where some cars and vehicles can't. But with over 400 million working donkeys worldwide, someone needs to speak for them. And that is what the Donkey Sanctuary team did at COP26. Working alongside with World Horse Welfare and other international organizations, the charity will explore ways to ensure animals are considered in the battle against global warming. They will also work to ensure the health and safety of working animals are included in negotiations and pledges made at COP26. Folks, project pro progress is being made and we are thrilled to hear that the hardworking equines actually made it equines in the world made it onto the agenda of this year's COP26 conference. Yeah. <clears throat> if, <clears throat> if you've just tuned in, you are watching the 31st episode of Coffee with Cart Horse. Please like and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. I see we have one viewer on, on um, YouTube today and the rest are on Facebook. Awesome. So we'd love to hear who you are, where you're watching from, and, and if you enjoy the program. And don't feel shy to hit that share button. We are an animal welfare organization and we need support as far and wide as we can get. Absolutely. Thanks, Marika. Our lineup for today, I will be telling you more about our upcoming sponsorthon on the 30th of November. We will be speaking to Ashley Dillman, which is our head farrier, and down memory lane, a funny South African story. So please stay tuned if you also need a good laugh. Giving Tuesday is a global generosity movement 
Unleashing the Power of Radical Generosity. Giving Tuesday was created in 2012 as a simple idea, a day that encourages people to do good. Since then, it has grown into a global movement that inspires millions, millions of people to give, collaborate, and celebrate generosity in over 145 countries. Over $503 million was raised online in the US alone in 2020. Yes, that was actually during COVID. Unbelievable. So we decided to do an eight hour non stop sponsorthon on Tuesday, the 30th of November. Our sponsorthon is a sponsorship marathon to raise 300,000 Rand for our 35 abused and neglected horses that we have had to confiscate at the R&R, where we will be live streaming from. The proceeds will go towards their keeping, will go towards keeping these precious souls fed, receive the necessary veterinary care, rehabilitation, keeping them comfortable and loved, and to give them a nice warm bed to sleep in every night where they can rest peacefully with 24-7 care. By doing this, their true personalities do come through and they begin to shine. So please, please, please consider sponsoring a deserving horse while in our care, some unfortunately for many years, so we can finally send them on their way to their forever homes, never ever to look back on working ever again. But folks, so far, we have received 5,500 Rand for our sponsorthon. So now we are looking for 994,500 Rand. Come on, folks, deep dig, as Philippa would say. When making your donation, please don't forget to reference sponsor along with your initial and your surname. Up next, just one more of our vital services we offer at Cartels, much needed farrier services. Today I'm going to be chatting to Ashley Dealman, which is our head farrier at the Cartels Protection Association, and uh, we're going to talk about what, what the services that we offer. Ashley, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy morning to see us. Can you just tell us what the cost of shoes are and what basically does does it include when they come into the clinic? Uh, the cartels get the shoes subsidized. Uh, which means they just pay 100 grand. We bought the shoes for the original price, and that includes your shoes, your nails, and your farrier services, and other treatments. And we also put some like roof grease or something on just to help them uh, with growth and things like that. Yes, the, horses, the horses also get a breakfast when they come in for sure. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Yeah. When they come in, we normally put feet aside and we give them like a, we call it a breakfast. And how often do they, the shoes have to be, be changed? Uh, say for instance, if your horse work like every day, then they normally would come every second week and yeah. the shoes is finished, sure. which is also a challenge for us as farriers because there's not enough growth within the two weeks. Yes, to take off that mud and trim and balance and all those things. 
so you need to do, uh, actually use your discretion when to take off, when it's not necessary to take off, and just to put the horse back on the road sound. So, and then the, the horses that um, live in the area, they come to the clinic uh, for, for, for shoes, and those that, that live out in the outskirts that don't live so close to the clinic, how do we help those guys? Okay, um, the horses that live close by, they normally come to the Epping Clinic, which is our headquarters, yeah. uh, and they get all these services, even if it's a stereo or whatever, and yeah. Anna Suites and all those things, feed that they buy, or if the horse is lame or what they need, point. but on the outskirts, we normally take in the afternoons a mobile clinic out, which is our shoes, our feet, we have our ointment, everything, everything together, and also the harness maker. Okay. So we have certain points where we stand and stop. The guys bring the horses to us, and we provide them with services. So, and you do that every afternoon? Every afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. And we also have our stable yard where we just go out, where we do trimming, uh, for especially for our young horses, that is not allowed on the road. So we've got the board, we put the dates on the board, so we're following the they follow the dates and then we go out to the stable yard. Even mares that is pregnant that stands, we trim their feet and all those things. Because as they say, no hoof, no horse. Yes, correctly. Ashley, so, thank you so much for, for chatting to us. I know that you've got a few horses waiting to be shooed by by you and um, thanks once again. It's a great pleasure lady, you enjoy your day. Wow. It really is back-breaking work, day in, day out. You took the words out of my mouth. I mean, they do that from the minute they walk into the clinic, do that, and then go to the afternoon clinics. And to be bent over like that all day, every day, is I take my hat up to them. And and Ashley was trained by World Horse Welfare. And as you saw, Banani was, was, um, was being fooled as well. And Ashley's mentoring them. And... Um, as he mentioned, this service is also heavily, heavily subsidized. So please also consider um, supporting this campaign. <laughs> As you know, we're not just here to make fun, but we're also here to try and raise some money. So as Parnes, <laughs> as Parnes mentioned before, we still need to raise 295,500 Rand. I forgot the five in the banner there. <laughs> but <laughs> please, the easiest way to donate is to use SnapScan. And you can either do that by scanning the QR code and donating to Cartos, or you don't even need the QR code. You can just go on your phone, open up the app, go to donate and find car tours and donate any amount that you want to us okay. and don't forget to use the references Karen likes to get in touch with everybody so we know we like to know where our donations come from so we can keep in touch and say hi and and just um yeah know who our donors are <laughs> absolutely as well as for your section 18a which is tax time <laughs> this year, which is important yes <laughs> So we're not spending a lot of time at the office, so we don't get to spend too much time with the cats. 
But this is just a very short clip to show you why we are so entertained by them. <laughs> The oh, well <laughs> <laughs> I was having such a laugh. That boy <laughs> is the most sweetest, loving, quirkiest, adorable, and funniest cat I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Megan oh, says he's the air pressure tester. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, love that cat. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, oh, up next. What's that? oh up next is <laughs> time memory lane. <laughs> This is a funny story from one funny quirky cat to another funny story. One Sunday, many, many years ago, a gentleman popped down to the local Woolworths convenience store at the Endrian service station. On the way, he passed a scrap metal cart being pulled by a donkey. While he was standing in the checkout queue, he looked through the window and saw that the donkey and cart were pulled up alongside the pumps for refueling. The donkey had its nose in the watering can, generally used to top up the cars, and the cart passenger was swabbing down the donkey's sweaty flanks with a squeegee thing usually used to clean the windows. The terrible misuse of the squeegee caused one of the pump attendants to go over and confiscate it. Lots of words were exchanged. I won't go there in what was mentioned. And they were asked to leave. The attendant came back very irritated, saying that the donkey would only move away from the pumps if it was given some apples. The gentleman in the queue thought it was only fair to donate the bag of apples he had just bought to the donkey. The carties were over the moon and could not thank the gentleman enough. While returning to his car, he overheard the carty saying that the donkey must be the most fancy, schmanchiest dog donkey on the Cape Flats as he was eating apples from Woolworths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I love that story. It is so it's so sweet. very funny. Yeah, if you've missed any of our previous episodes, you can go to our website and click on the mm -hmm. Coffee with Cart Horse tab. All 30 previous episodes are there. So if you've missed anything that you would like to go and watch, some of them are very interesting. Some of them are about other organizations. Some of them about our own organization. But they're all very interesting and very entertaining. So please either go to our website or go to our YouTube channel and you can watch it there as well. And if you're a gamer, you can even go on Twitch or the live streams. We live stream on Twitch as well. Awesome. Thanks, Marika. Folks, remember to join us on the 30th of November for our eight-hour live stream sponsorthon. You don't want to miss it. And as I always say, no donation is ever too big or too small. And remember to order your 2022 calendar. Until next Wednesday, please be safe and take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.